What's up again guys? Yeah, it's me, your friendly neighborhood Dovahkiin, and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 Early Access. And uh, before we begin, be sure to hit on the subscribe button for more great videos. Okay, in the last episode, we had a series of extraction missions. We rescued Volo, Liam, and the Druid Halson in the Shattered Sanctum. As per Volo, I mentioned that I'll show you one of our interesting convos back here at the campsite. So, here we are. Anyway, Lazelle sees him as a myth weaver, with no respect for truth. Ironically, however, in this situation, he's gonna be a skeptic. Yes, my friend? I was just settling in and reviewing my latest findings. Mind flares, cultists, and, of course, your esteemed company. <laughs> Why, I'm practically an expert. They've tentacles, you know. Quite shocking. The druid Halson had some kind of mind flare specimen in a jar in his quarters. A replica, no doubt, but truly fascinating to see up close. Here. On the Sword Coast! Impossible! That... that can't be. You're mad! But, tell me, have you noticed any residual psionic malaise since the alleged encounter? That's quite impossible. You'd have undergone ceramorphosis by now. If what you say were true, you'd be a mind flayer by now. You? Infected by a mind flayer? <laughs> Ridiculous! Isn't it? Perhaps that's for the best. I'd be irresponsible not to debunk such a strange claim. If I just peer in your eye, I could quickly... Oh, my dear sweet God! If we managed it, we'd have a specimen of incredible rarity on our hands. I'll need to research the particulars, however. Give me a bit of time, and I'll have this little issue sorted. By the way, similar to Auntie Ethel's offer back in episode 14, after giving him some time for research, don't let him remove the tadpole in your head, because uh, you'll end up as a one-eyed jack with a permanent debuff. Alright, now we're back in the Shattered Sanctum, and as per Halcyon's request, we have to kill the three goblin leaders. In the previous vid, I've already decimated the Drowmin Thera in utter brilliance. Today, we're gonna whack the shit out of the priestess gut. But uh, before that, to make things less messy and contain this battle, first, we need to eliminate the surrounding goblins. I'm gonna start down south, back at the main entrance to the Sanctum. And uh, since I'm not gonna take long rests in between these fights, I need to conserve my skills, so I'm gonna turn off Lazel's repost. Obey the drow. Serve the absolute, and you may be chosen. I never felt so strong. Nobody's gonna push us around anymore. Anyhow, like what I did in the last episode, I'm going to use my character select tactic to gain the upper hand. And uh, not only in this fight, but on the succeeding ones as well. 
Also, uh, take note of this war drum. Don't let anyone reach it or, better yet, destroy it ASAP. next set of goblins is near Abdirak, whose uh, physical torture scenario I've already discussed in the previous vid. Anyway, don't worry cause he won't get involved in the fight, unless you hurt him of course. By the way, there's another war drum here.
Yes, I must try this technique. Or perhaps this one. Before you loot, the corpses sneak. Because a P-Rack will deem that as stealing. Obviously, this is Will's eye. And uh, later, if we have time, I'll give this back to him at the campsite. Next is a sabotage mission, and Star's gonna be my saboteur. He needs to destroy a couple more war drums at the northwest. Obey the drow. Serve the absolute, and you may be chosen. I ain't never felt so strong. Yes. Absolute looking out for me now. Wait, we have a patroller on site, and uh, alright, let's assassinate him as well. the drow. Ugh. There better be a soft bedroll in my near future. Okay. This next set of goblins Six to be exact, but divided into two groups, is at the northwest of Gut. Last me. Into the field. 
praise his ever bleeding axe. Praise his throne of flaming iron. Praise McGlubbyet. You know McGlubbyet, a tyrannical deity who treats his goblinoid followers as slaves. Trying to interrupt my prayers? Scared of a real god? You're as goomless as the rest of them. They'll turn on you soon enough. Then you'll be wishing you was in a cage. You'll end up being supper for the spiders or the wolves. If you had half a brain, you wouldn't be mucking around in here at all. They've all gone barmy. Had their heads turned from the old ways by some upstart god. Maglaviets looked out for me since I was knee high to a walk pup. Bollocks to this absolute, I say, and bollocks to you and all. Before the new unknown, that is the absolute, Maglaviet, the mighty one, was the deity of the goblins. By the way, I don't know what to do with this Maglubiet loyalist just yet, so uh, let's just leave him there for the meantime. I hear Spike messed with the Blade of Frontiers. I just love a good finger fry. Before we fight God, my squad needs to be branded with the mark of the Absolute. Don't fret. There are no repercussions in doing this. In fact, you'll benefit from it, because you'll be able to use a few items without getting debuffed, of which I will discuss later. Take note, in the full release of this game, getting marked might be a bad idea, so I may not opt for it at all. Anyway, you need to repeat this process for each member of your squad. Sir, now here's somebody special. The Absolute has touched you, hasn't she? Priestess Gut needs to touch you too. Hold out your arm so I can mark your flesh. Shows our devotion to the Absolute. These maggots see how strong we are with her guidance. Whole camp will be branded soon, and you should be too. You ready? Brace yourself, this'll sting. Hold still. The pain muddles your thoughts, your minds become entangled. A familiar sensation. She too carries a parasite. Your minds brush against one another, but are swiftly parted. Don't want to get intimate in front of the novices. Fair enough. Got some weird shadows in your head. Maybe I can help with that. Us true souls gotta look out for one another. Okay, now that we're finally facing true soul God, the High Priestess of the Absolute, I'm gonna turn Lizelle's repost back on. Anyhow, these are her stats. The 
absolute and you I may look out and strong. Avoid standing in front of these four big ass statues. Cause a gut has some sort of whip spell that can topple him down on you, dealing massive damage in the process. Anyway, I'm not gonna use any of my unorthodox strats in this fight. We're gonna meet this head on. Alright, let's do this. Ready to figure out what's going on with those shadows in your head. That's a bigger fight than we needed to pick. Not the subtlest of assassins, are you? You think you can hurt me? This'll be good. Let's rip him apart!
Ah, the world just got a little less wretched. And that is how you make things easy. do this all day. These are the two uncommon items that I got from her, plus the Gloves of Power, which I got way back in episode 5 while entering the Druid Grove. Using these gear without the Mark of the Absolute debuffs you with Bane, thus the reason why I got my entire squad branded earlier. Okay. Let's make some friends, shall we? Eight-legged freaks to be exact. The spider seems poised to attack, but she hesitates, tapping her claws as if trying to communicate. The other spider echoes her. The spider relaxes slightly, but you feel her hunger and fear beneath the surface. She scuttles towards the door. These spiders are bugged anyway. They get stuck in the hall before the remaining goblin leader, Jor Ragsley. By the way, it wasn't obvious during the battle against Gut, but I was also actually avoiding the west side of the hall, cause a Rawa Moonglow and her lackeys are there. If you took the fight near them, they will go aggro against you as well, therefore losing a decent merchant. Now you may ask, why are they guarding that door? What's behind it? It's an armory, full of common weapons with a chest that contains the biggest gold hall I've seen so far. Now, follow me as I find another way in. Star's Misty Step is still in cooldown, so let's just take a short rest. Alright, during the making of this vid, Larian Studios just made another pre-patch announcement 
for patch 4, which like the current patch 3, will break your previous saves. And uh, I've decided to wait for that patch before uploading another episode. So uh, don't be surprised if I release no vids in the next few weeks. Cause uh, besides the playtime I need to spend in order to catch up with my current playthrough, I also need to account the time that I will spend on video production. And uh, frankly, I'm excited as well to restart my game. Cause uh, as I've said in my previous vid, I bought a new gaming desktop. And uh, running it again, but with ultra graphic settings this time, will be an entirely different gaming experience. And that is all there is for now, thanks for watching. Also check out other videos from Sabbath Man Philippines and don't forget to subscribe. See you on my next vid, peace out ya.